Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at something a little bit different than what we normally would look at on this channel. We're going to look at some artwork. I don't normally look at artwork on this channel, but these prints finally arrived and I couldn't resist. I had to show you guys how cool these turned out. Uh, these come to us from Victor Garduno and I picked up a whole bunch of different prints from him and I want to showcase them now. They, Like I said, they've just arrived in the mail. So uh, they're all 11 by 17, which already off the bat I do like because you don't have to find custom frames for these. If you ever do custom framing for any bit of artwork, you can know it gets pretty expensive. So luckily Victor, when he does produce this artwork, when you do get them eventually mailed to you, uh, not only do they come protected in these, these plastic acrylic kind of pr sheet protectors, but uh, they are of 11 by 17 format. So finding frames for these are really, really easy. Uh, all of these are done by colored pencils, if you could believe it. I thought initially that they might have been done by pastels, but they are done by colored pencils, and they vary from uh, each print taking about 50 to approximately 150 hours to produce each one of them. Um, I got two protectors, but then there's actually prints inside, so we're going to have a look at each one of these. Um, I'm going to put all the social media information down below for Victor Garduno. Uh, his Facebook fan page is Victor Garduno Arts. Facebook page, his regular Facebook page, of course, is Victor Garduno. And Instagram, you can find him over at, at Art of Garduno. And if I've mispronounced his last name, I certainly do apologize for that. Uh, but we've got a couple of prints here on the one, and we'll look at each one of them individually. This one here is the Wonder Woman print. Uh, along with the queen, her mother. And uh, again, like all of this is done, if you could believe it, with colored pencils. Um, I, it'd be neat actually if on the back, on the back here, by the way, he has Victor Garduno, established 2003, an authentic stamp. And then he's got the date in which this was done. And there's also even like a, a an impressed watermark down below. But it would be neat, actually, if he had put, like, a little information on the back, like, you know, this this specific print took me approximately, say, 60 hours to complete. It's, it's always, I wish I had talent like this, but I always like to know a little bit more about the, uh, about the story behind prints. You know, how long did it take? You know, what, uh, you know, what was his inspiration? Obviously, the inspiration here uh, is the original Wonder Woman. And here we have Gal Gadot looking... Oh, so nice in colored pencil. Obviously, these are re uh, reproductions. Um, I would love to also see, I would really, speaking of the fact that these are 11 by 17, I would love to also have seen him release, and maybe down the road he could consider doing this, releasing them in a larger format as well, like a poster size format. Um, a lot of these, though, go this way, but as you'll see, I've got a couple that run the, the vertical. But uh, th this is such a beautiful looking print. And if I can just show you the close up details there, Wonder Woman's face. Victor is an extremely, to say the least, an, a very e extremely talented artist. So I got the Wonder Woman and I also got one of the earlier Thanos designs. And he's got his Infinity Gauntlet with all his stones present. Very nice look on his face. And then in the other sheet protector, there's a couple more in here than the first one. I'm trying to think to myself where I would want to put these. This one, this one immediately caught my eye. This is the Pennywise from the new It. And just again, look at the Look at the incredible detailing on Pennywise's face. See all the little cracks. I don't. I. I can't even think of one thing that he's left off of this this drawing. Uh, signatures down below, and I don't know if you can see it or not. There is the embossed watermark. Now he does. Like I said, he is, he does superheroes, um, Marvel, DC. And then, of course, he does horror prints as well. I had, to, I definitely had to get this one. This was I'm gonna have to find some place where I can put this. I would not want to put it up by just via thumbtacks. I mean, this this is something where I would want to put it in a very nice broad black frame. Incredible detailing, though. This is one of my favorites that he's done. 
Um, I think my favorite though is this one here. And this is Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Now, again, this is a vertical print, obviously not going horizontal. And here we have Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Beautiful, beautiful. And if I, hopefully, I don't know if the camera can even do it. If we go really close, you can maybe see the actual uh, pencil crayons. Colored pencils, I should say, that he's used for it. Super cool details. Um, I also really like the backdrop that he went, he decided to go with here for uh, the for the Harley Quinn, where you've got the pink and the, and the blue, very pastel on the side. And I love how it, it just kind of blends off to the bottom. It just kind of transitions its way out and then dissolves at the bottom. He's got his signature. And uh, this one here is from 2017. And there's the back of it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put all the information down below. So if you guys are interested in uh, getting any one of his prints, all that information will be down below. And the other one that I picked up was the Guardians of the Galaxy with the full cast. Well, not quite the full cast, but I guess the full cast from the first movie. I like mean, look how, look how much that looks like Chris Pratt. Man, I wish I could draw like that. Unfortunately, I can't, but luckily, to my credit, Victor can, so as long as he makes more of these, I definitely would be inclined to pick up more of them. And then you've got the stamp, authentic symbol stamp on the back there as well. Um, I got four prints, but he actually has a uh, several different prints available. Uh, I would definitely say check out his social media information. I'll put all the information down below. And uh, there's some prices over there as well. So you can find out what how much each of these pieces uh, will go for. Um, definitely the next step for me is getting myself some very nice bold frames going for these. So I can put these up on my wall. As soon as I put these up on the wall, maybe I'll do like a video. And I'll show you guys you know, how that looks in my entertainment slash man cave room. Uh, today though, slightly a little bit different. Slightly a little bit different than what we would normally look at. Uh, today we were looking at some art, but equally so, as good as high-end collectibles and figures and stuff go, there's also the market for artwork, and I really would think that uh, this is the kind of artwork that anybody would want to add to their designated quote-unquote man caves. Uh, today, once again, we were having a look at some artwork from uh, from Victor, specifically Victor Garduno, and uh, if I mis mispronounced Victor's last name, I apologize for that. But we looked at a whole bunch of different cool art prints. Uh, my favorites though, as I've probably already discussed, was the uh, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. And equally so, I really like the Pennywise It. Uh, but all the information will be down below in the video description if you wanted to reach out to uh, to Victor, maybe grab a couple pieces for yourself. I said, I think I said I got four, but I actually got five. I got the Wonder Woman at the counting that one as well. But today we were having a look at Victor Garduno's artwork. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. Many more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.